basically, I start off with just these blue little frames. I paint them black, then I paint them a color, then I paint them another color that has nothing to do with the first color. So then I just start doing layers and layers of colors. And then I usually start by like, taping off things and like making these geometric shapes. And then I don't really know why, I just do it. And then it ends up how they are. I just kind of go for it. Just winging it. So this is, a, I'm doing like a three piece series. So the color, they each kind of do their own color, but kind of interact with each other. So usually when I work on like ones like this, I'm, you just work on the ground and just paint up above like that. I usually just, after I paint the color, I go with like a paintbrush and just use black paint and sketch it. Just with black paint and then paint on top of it. But I mean, lately I've just been adding all these different like little elements, to old books and nails and like just weird little things. I love like old stuff. So you just get a lot of cool different layers out of it. And once it's resin, it's all sealed in. Yeah. So walk us through this resin process. Um. When did you start doing this with your paintings? Only like a year ago or so. Kind of something I wanted to do for a long time. This artist of Portland, Corey Smith, does these big like pop art stuff, but he's been doing it for a long time. And like, his are like half an inch or inch thick of resin, just crazy. It looks amazing. So then I just, I always wanted to do it. So I just started kind of doing it, messing around with it. And the, all the first ones sucked really bad. Like some cracked, some were just yellow. It was just awful. Everyone's been bugging me for not wearing a mask for the last year, so I do wear a mask now just because. That's better that way, probably. This you're supposed to measure, but I don't. I just pour it in and go from there. This is the hardener. I'll put in too much catalyst and I'll harden up in like five. Sometimes I'll take an hour. Just depends on how much catalyst you put in. The key is just barely brushing it. The more you brush, the more like, cloudy it gets. So I try not to do anything with it, just put it on and just let it be. I can't imagine just being by myself in a room with no music. <laughs> Some people just like, I don't know, hang out with no music on or anything. I don't get it. It's crazy to me. I try to do like three coats using, just to have it like a rad, super thick effect. And I have resin on my feet. Could you wear 
wearing gloves, though. Yeah. Whatever. Sometimes, like, I'll be, like, rushing out the door. I'm like, well, let me just quickly <laughs> paint something or quickly do this.